Ball went in uh, pretty hard. I think Clara put uh, a lot of oomph on it. And then uh, I'm not really sure what happened. It ricocheted around, but um, we've been working a lot on set pieces, defending and attacking them. And uh, the ball somehow got out and uh, Tanner um, had the ball kind of around the spot and uh, she really selflessly dropped it back to me. Um, and I just, uh, there wasn't a player coming yet and so I just took one step, kind of one-timed it into the upper V um, and beat the keeper. So really, really awesome by Tanner. So uh, we did have a lot of chances today that uh, for whatever reason we didn't put away. Um, I've been joking with Clara that uh, the soccer gods are just testing us a lot right now, but um, they're going to come. Uh, but yeah, right before our goal today, uh, we did have quite a few chances. There's a few scrums in front of the net. And then uh, finally getting one just definitely is always a good feeling. Um, and I'm hoping that this is going to start, uh, just get the ball rolling for us this season. Uh, the defense have been great. You know, Anna and, Anna and Tanner are so solid at center back, and they clear the ball really well, win balls in the air. They defend 1v1 well. I think that the best part about Sophie and Elisa is their ability to join in the attack. You know, Sophie has so many great runs up the sideline that just get the team going and build momentum, but they still get back and defend. And they, I mean, these four haven't played together before, and so being able to mesh this early in the season and play this well together has been it's been huge. Yeah, I mean, when you look at our starting lineup, uh, uh, t today we started five freshmen, four sophomores, a junior and a senior. And in key, key positions, we have a, a freshman in a central defending position, a left back, a central midfielder, uh, a wide midfielder, a goalkeeper. So we've got a lot of freshmen in, in key roles. Uh, they've adapted very well. Um, they, they've been a big part of our success up to this point, but they're still in, in, a, in a learning curve and they still need to get used to the college game and the speed of the game and the physicality of the game. But you know, I've been happy every game they've learned and they've grown and they've really applied uh, you know, what we're asking them to apply. You know, it wasn't the easiest schedule I, I, I put together for a young team, but it, but it teaches you to deal with adversity. Uh, you know, different arenas, different towns, different travel arrangements, different food options, it's different time zones. It's a lot of different, and uh, once we get into conference, we see a lot of different. Uh, we're, we're in different states a couple of times on the same weekend. We have a split weekend. Uh, so the Georgetown, oh, I'm sorry, the Cincinnati-Utah Valley weekend for us was very good because we actually have to endure that during the season. Uh, so we, we tried to put them through what we're going to see. Uh, hopefully that makes a difference when we get into conference. But uh, you know, we've, we've got a big game on Sunday to try to finish out the non-conference slate.